Hello friends and today is my regifting back to the thrift stores day. I go through this every once in a while. We have some stale inventory, dead inventory. It's not going anywhere and I just decide well you know I could discount it, cut it cut the price a little bit more, or I can just donate it. So before I decided to make this uh, re-donation or re-gifting back to the thrift stores move, I did some research. I updated my research on eBay to see if this, these products or these brands were selling, uh, if there were any comps, what their sell-through rate was, and basically, these items are dead. <laughs> There's nothing going on with them. And so I want to go over this with you. Let me take a little break and take my um, Apple phone off the charger because it's starting to ring a lot. So one second. I have a watch and every time I turn on my cell phone and the watch is charging, uh, it starts to ping and make all kind of crazy sounds. So anyway, this is going to be fairly short, but these are items that I have sourced and thrifted, uh, paid for, hoping to, to, you know, turn a profit like everybody else. So uh, a lot of this is pottery and... Uh, uh, stoneware and ceramics and things like that, which I am, you know, when I go into the thrift stores these days, I kind of bypass all of it because truth be told, a lot of this glassware and pottery and ceramics and things, they just don't sell anymore. People are not collecting them. Um, for example, uh, if you want dinnerware, I don't know anybody who's going out there looking for antique-ish type dinnerware. Most of the folks that I know are going to the dollar store or to Target and getting their dinner sets or their mugs or, you know, silverware and things like that. So I think the days of collecting and getting a high amount for you know, your antiques and your collectibles. I think those days are over. So let's go over this. Um, this is a corset. I never heard of Shirley. Shirley in Hollywood, I think the title is. Shirley in Hollywood. I'd never heard of this before. So I grabbed it. I think it was like a dollar. I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, didn't do my research. So I did go to eBay yesterday to see, well, you know, what is Shirley in Hollywood? Uh, what is this worth? Now on eBay, it has a very fast sell through rate and the prices were, you know, $25, $30. But for some reason, my corset is not selling on Posh or eBay. So um, what I did was I Super duper discounted it. I think I have it on eBay for like $1.99. And I cut the price on Posh. I'm going to wait a few days, a few weeks to see if it sells. If not, then it's going to be regifted to the um, to the thrift stores. These are salt and pepper shakers that I bought. Actually, I bought them for myself. Let me see if I can show you this. I bought them for myself. I thought I was going to use them. Uh, nope, I didn't need them. And so I took them to the flea market. They didn't sell. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, give them back to the thrift store. And they're not by anyone. It's made in China. So it doesn't have any anyway. All right. Um, Egg Harbor Cafe. This is a mug. A couple of years ago, I was running into these mugs a lot. 
it's a franchise like Starbucks all over the United States. And depending upon where you live, um, these mugs will sell quite quickly. Plus it's made by Deneen, what is it? Deneen Pottery Company, which is a very, very well-known pottery company. But this particular mug that I have here is just sitting. And um, so, you know, I really don't spend a lot of money on these mugs and salt and pepper shaker type things maybe a dollar, so I'm not out a lot of money. It goes bye-bye. I picked this up really not knowing anything about the cartoon. It's called PJ Mask, and it's owned by Disney. Well, lo and behold, I can't list it on Amazon, and uh, so it's been up online at the other sites for quite a while. Um, I'm not sure this is a very popular cartoon. It's you know, it doesn't. I, I didn't know who it was, so uh, that goes also. This is one of those packets you get um, from the side shelf on, um, you know, in the thrift stores like uh, Savers or Unique. Uh, I think Village, the Village has these little side packets. Uh, a lot of Ulta samples. I tried to sell it as a lot. It's not selling. So what I'm going to do with this is offer it as a freebie uh, with items that uh, are purchased. So if you purchase a sweater, a pair of pants, a suit, I'm just going to throw in one of these items. And it didn't cost a lot. Uh, each piece is maybe 25 cents. So I'm not out a lot of money there. This I surely thought would move. It's by Linox. Okay, if you can, let me turn this upside down. I don't know if you're familiar with Linox, but it's one of those um, brands like Mikasa, M-I-K-A-S-A, Mikasa. It's one of those brands, well-known, well-respected legacy brands of uh, pottery. So this is a um, candle candle holder. And as you can see, the price on the bottom was discounted to $5.97. And I tried to sell it for at least $14, no buyers. So uh, I'm just going to, you know, redonate that. All right, Homer and Laughlin, a beautiful teapot. If I had use for this, I would keep it myself, but I really don't. So I'm just going to uh, re-gift it to the thrift store. Uh, I did go online to see if there was any demand for this brand. It's, again, one of those legacy um, collectibles, collectible type uh, teapots, but it's just not selling. Um, again, I, I, I think people are going to the stores now, if I want a teapot, I'm going to go grab it off the shelf of Target or um, West Elm or Pottery Barn. All right, now this was, and the only reason I bought this, honestly, was because it was cheap. I got some appetizer dishes. Let me open this up. I thought they were very attractive. I don't need appetizer dishes. I don't know if anybody else needs appetizer dishes, but um, uh, I believe they're bamboo. And that's, that's what drew me to them, that they were bamboo. Uh, there was one for each type of wine. And I think this was 80 cents altogether. So I thought it would sell, but it's not selling. All right, so that's it. This is what I won't buy again. I will avoid whenever I go into the thrift stores. It may well may, it may work well for other resellers. This doesn't work well for me. I've learned my lesson. All right, and I want to thank everybody again for stopping by. Hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.